Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see the transmission and reception in mobile communication, then mobility management and wireless network topologies. First, let us understand how phone call will be established between the two users. If person A want to communicate with person B, how actually the call will be established and what are all the process it is going to take place. First one is transmitting. When a caller enters the 10 digit code, that is the phone number of person B and press the send button, mobile started to scan the free channel which is available to communicate with the base station and it is going to select the free channel and send a strong signal to send the number which is entered. And base station is connected to an MSC that is mobile switching center. That base station send the number to MSC and MSC start dispatching that number throughout the base stations in the cellular system. Why? Because that MSC don't know where actually the person B is. That mobile identification number of person B is broadcasted over the forward control channels. That forward control channel communication will be called as paging. Then person B's mobile phone is keep on accepting the paging information when the mobile identification number matches with the mobile station that mobile station responds by identifying itself and that communication will be through the reverse control channel. This will be called as a forward control channel where the mobile identification number is broadcasted by the MSC to all the base stations and mobile station identifying itself and that will communicate to the base station through the reverse control channel. Then base station relays the acknowledgement sent by the mobile and informs the MSC that there will be a handshake between the person B's mobile station and the base station as hacker. And then the mobile switching center assigns a unused voice channel to the call and call will be established between person A and person B. And what is receiving? Receiving in the sense when person A wants to communicate with person B, how actually the B's mobile phone is going to get the signal. Here all the mobile phones will be in the idle state initially. The idle state mobile station will be continuously listening to the paging information sent by the MSC through the base station. When a call is placed to a mobile station, a packet is sent to the callee's home MSC to find out where actually the person B is. That packet is sent to the base station in its current cell. Means the person A is started to send the information to MSC through the base station and this MSC is keep on broadcasting the information and that information will be sent as a packet to the base station of the person B's current cell. Mobile station responds to the control channel and in response a voice channel is assigned and then ring started in the person B's mobile phone. This is what the process in the reception it is going to take place while establishing a call. Then mobility management. What is mobility management? When a mobile station or a mobile phone moves out of the current base station to the other base station. Suppose this car will be considered as a person when he start moving from one cell to the other cell there will be a process called as handoff. We need to maintain the service continuously. This process will be called as handoff management. The procedure to keep track of the user's location will be called as location management and maintaining the service continuously without disturbing the call will be called as handoff management. Here together handoff management and the location management will be called as mobility management. Then what is handoff? At any instance each mobile station is logically in a cell under the control of the cell's base station. Each cell will be having a base station and multiple mobile stations this base station is going to control. When this mobile station is started to move and it is moving to the cell B, this base station notices that mobile station signal is going to fade away. Means the signal connected to a base station is keep on reducing its power. And then it requests the neighboring base station to report the strength of the receiving signal. If the second base station connection is established with the mobile station, 
then this base station comes to know that the mobile station is connected with the second base station and it transfers the ownership to the cell which is getting connected. This will be called as handoff. In this process, the call is established between the mobile stations not get disturbed. That is what the meaning of handoff management is. There are two types of handoffs here. One is the hard handoff, another one is the soft handoff. If there is a mobile station moving from one base station to the other base station, if the transition of channels from the base station 1 and 2 is smooth, we call it as soft handoff. If it is not smooth, if the connection is going to broke in between the moment, we call it as hard handoff. Here you can see the base station 1 and base station 2 and a car is moving from base station 1 to base station 2. While traveling from 1 to 2, if there is any broken in the communication, we call it as hard handoff. If there is no broken in the communication, there is a smooth transition in the channel replacement, then it will be called as soft handoff. Then what is roaming? Roaming is a facility provided to a cell phone user to use the wireless networks while traveling outside the home network. This roaming will be either a national roaming or it will be an international roaming. The two fundamental operations associated with this is corresponds to the location management. So location has to be updated means the foreign network contacts the home network and requests the service information. The home directory of the mobile station is going to update it with its current location. That is what the location update is when it is corresponds to the roaming. And then paging. Paging is broadcasting of mobile identification number which is corresponds to that particular MSC. This, these are the two fundamental operations which are going to occur when the person in roaming. Then wireless network topologies. What is wireless network topology? It is defined as the configuration in which the mobile terminal or the mobile station communicates with other mobile station. There are two types here. One is ad hoc network topology. In the ad hoc network topology, the wireless devices are going to communicate directly to each other without any access point. There is no access point in between the two. Wireless devices are going to communicate directly with each other through a direct connection. Here this ad hoc network is also known as IBSS means independent basic service set configuration. There are two types of ad hoc network topologies here. One is a single hop ad hoc network, another one is multi hop ad hoc network. In the single hop ad hoc network, obviously without base station, the communication is going to establish. Each node can communicate wirelessly with each other in a radio range. Means there will be range within the range the mobile stations can communicate. And this type of single hop communication is suitable for rapid wireless communications such as in military where among the soldiers voice and data is going to be communicated. They are going to use a single hop ad hoc network. Multi-hop ad hoc network in the sense, in this network, the coverage area is larger compared to the single hop ad hoc network. Here, multi-hop ad hoc network will be having a large area coverage. Therefore, to reach the person B, which is far in the far distance, is going to use the person in between. Means here the mobile station 1 and mobile station 4 need to be communicated. They are going to communicate through the mobile station 2 and mobile station 3. The message will be passed from one after the other. This will be called as multi-hop ad hoc network. Here the direct transmission will be held through the neighboring nodes. This is what the ad hoc network topology is. The one more kind of topology we have that is infrastructure network topology. In this topology where there is a fixed infrastructure that supports the communication between the mobile terminals and the fixed terminals. This topology often designed for a large coverage area. We will be having a wired backbone network. We will be having a base station and the mobile station will be connected with the base station. And if there is any, any fixed terminal that also be communicated with the base station or with the access point. This will be called as infrastructure network topology. Thank you.